Grace Church Cathedral. This is evening prayer and meditation for Thursday, November the 3rd. Yours is the day, O God. Yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. O God, make speed to save us. O Dios, digna telebranos. O Lord, make haste to help us. Señor, apresurate a socorrernos. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory al Padre, y al Hijo, y al Espíritu Santo, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Como era en principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 74. O God, why have you utterly cast us off? Why is your wrath so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation that you purchased long ago, the tribe you redeemed to be your inheritance, and Mount Zion, where you dwell. Turn your steps toward the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste everything in your sanctuary. Your adversaries roared in your holy place. They set up their banners as tokens of victory. They were like men coming up with axes to a grove of trees. They broke down all your carved work with hatchets and hammers. They set fire to your holy place. They defiled the dwelling place of your name and raised it to the ground. They said to themselves, Let us destroy them altogether. They burned down all the meeting places of God in the land. There are no signs for us to see. There is no prophet left. There is not one among us who knows how long. How long, O God, will the adversary scoff? Will the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you draw back your hand? Why is your right hand hidden in your bosom? Yet God is my king from ancient times, victorious in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your might and shattered the heads of the dragons upon the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave him to the people of the desert for food. You split open spring and torrent. You dried up ever-flowing rivers. Yours is the day, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Remember, O Lord, how the enemy scoffed, How a foolish people despised your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to wild beasts. Never forget the lives of your poor. Look upon your covenant. The dark places of the earth are haunts of violence. Let not the oppressed turn away ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God. Maintain your cause. Remember how fools revile you all the day long. Forget not the clamor of your adversaries, the unending tumult of those who rise up against you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Let us now praise famous men and our forebears in their generations. The Lord apportioned to them great glory, his majesty from the beginning. There were those who ruled in their kingdoms and were men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and proclaiming prophecies, leaders of the people in their deliberations and in understanding of learning for the people, wise in their words of instruction, those who composed musical tunes, 
and set forth verses in writing. Rich men furnished with resources, living peaceably in their habitations, all these were honored in their generations and were the glory of their times. There are some of them who have left a name so that others declare their praise. And there are some who have no memorial, who have perished as though they had not lived. They have become as though they had not been born, and so have their children after them. But these were men of mercy, whose righteous deeds have not been forgotten. Their prosperity will remain with their descendants and their, inher and their inheritance to their children's children. Their descendants stand by the covenants, their children also for their sake. Their posterity will continue forever, and their glory will not be blotted out. Their bodies were buried in peace, and their name lives to all generations. Peoples will, de will declare their wisdom, and the congregation proclaims their praise. The word of the Lord. So this week, we have just finished observing All Saints and All Souls. And if you attended uh, the, the Noonday Eucharist uh, for either one of those feasts, then hopefully you were brought into to mind of some of the things that we are remembering about All Saints and All Souls Day. And the reading that we have from Ecclesiasticus for this evening is another sort of reminder about what we're observing as we look to All Saints and All Souls, those feast days. And you know, the idea of let us now praise the famous in their generations that's, that would be the saints, those heroes of the faith that we call to mind once a year just to remind ourselves that we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses whose very lives showed forth quite publicly and, and as the church deemed them worthy of remembrance, um, are, are good for us to call to mind and to remember that we are surrounded by a group of people whose entire lives pointed the way to God and that we ourselves are also called into that same fellowship, that we ourselves can shape our lives and form our lives in such a way that we too may one day be pointed at and said, and people would say of us, you know, so-and-so showed us the way to God. We are all called to be saints whose lives mirror the glory of God and who point to uh, God's greater glory. And the Feast of All Souls is, also, is another sort of reminder that there are those who are not as famous, who are not as well known, but who still are held in the loving arms of God's mercy and whose lives are still kept dear by the mercy of God. All Souls Day is a reminder to us that even though we ourselves might not make a name for ourselves, that we might not be remembered uh, for generations to come still in the mind of God, we are held in love. And that is a wonderful thing to celebrate. And it's also a wonderful thing to bear in mind as we gather together as the faithful community. We are connected to all of the saints and all of those whose lives have gone before us who have paved the way and made our faith, made our life of faith possible. As uh, I like to say in Grace Church Cathedral, we are standing on the shoulders of giants. Some of them are not known to us. But countless generations of, of faithful Christians have made it possible for us to gather in our space to proclaim God's word and to encourage one another to live according to the gospel. So that, that is a, a wonderful reminder every single year that when we gather together, particularly on Sundays when we're coming together for the Eucharistic Fellowship, when we gather, we are surrounded not just by the community of, of the living around us, but all those generations who have gone before, the saints and all of the faithful departed who are still with us in a very real way, especially as we gather to celebrate the Eucharist. They're still with us in a very real way, and they are remembered. They are brought back into fellowship with us, and we are loved and we are supported and we are um, encouraged by that idea, by that faith. So. Again, that, that reading from Ecclesiasticus sort of puts us back in the mindset of all saints and all souls, that it's good and right to remember the generations that have gone before, both the famous, both the well-known ones like St. Francis or St. Clair, uh, St. Julian of Norwich, all of those um, big figures, but also the ones who are not known, but who are still held in God's, God's loving arms and God's mind. 
God remembers them and holds them up. And we are surrounded by their witness. And for that, we can all say, thanks be to God. Continue with the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. Proclama mi alma la grandeza del Señor. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Se alegra mi espíritu en Dios mi Salvador. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. El Señor sea con ustedes. Let us pray. Oremos. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, Santificado sea tu nombre. Venga tu reino, hágase tu voluntad, en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en tentación y líbranos del mal, porque tuyo es el reino, tuyo es el poder, y tuya es la gloria, ahora y por siempre. Amén that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Almighty and merciful God, it is only by your, by your gift that your faithful people offer you true and laudable service. Grant that we may run without stumbling to obtain your heavenly promises through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. 
pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. This time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Benedigamos al Señor. Thanks be to God. Demos gracias a Dios. And now may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the silver light of the moon guide your steps in the darkness, and the crickets sing you on your way home. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.